I found this plastic wood grain plate from Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99 and I got it out of the fall section. So it was an additional 40% off. And this one is 13 inches in diameter. And what I did is I took this leaf and berry wreath stencil. I got it from Studio R12. And using some blue painter's tape, I made the tape double-sided and I put it in the center of the wreath. And I had to stencil this in sections because the plate isn't uh, completely flat. So when you laid the stencil on it, it did bubble up a little bit. So the best way to do this was to just tape it off in sections so that whatever I was stenciling was laying flat. So I'm using a foam dabber and a very small amount of Antique Villa from Wise Owl Paint. And once I had the one section finished, I would just add a, another piece of the painter's tape. And then I did the other end where the stencil was now laying flat. And I just took my time. And the key with stenciling is you want to make sure that you have a very small amount of paint on your dabber. If you have too much paint, the paint will just bleed right underneath the stencil. And as I had the bigger sections complete, I started to remove some of the painter's tape. And then I'm just using my fingers to hold it down as flat as I can. And again, the wreath stencil is a circle. And because my plate is not completely flat, it just wants to bubble a little bit. So the best way to do this was to just do it slowly and in sections. Okay, and once that was done, I removed the stencil and I allowed the paint to dry. I found this pack of like acrylic plastic pieces from Hobby Lobby. They came in a pack and there are some leaves and pumpkins and just little gems in there. And what I did is I took some E6000 industrial strength glue and I went around the wreath and anywhere that there was a berry on the stencil, I put a little bit of the E6000 and laid down one of the orange gems that I got out of the packet. And that kind of just dressed it up. And then I found this thankful Woodward from Hobby Lobby as well. And I attached it to the center of the plate using some E6000. And then I got this wire easel right from the Dollar Tree. And now you have this really cute, thankful decor that you can display in your home. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Paint products can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out some other tutorials on our webpage or our YouTube. And go check out Studio R12 for some stencils. Have a great day.